Dragon Con back in the Marriott Loft. Colin Baker uh, has joined us. Colin, thank you again for making it down to Atlanta, sir. Hey, why would I say no? Well, I mean, there's a it's lot of good Atlanta. reasons, I suppose. Atlanta. That's fantastic. Yeah. Now, you've been here before for other cons, but this is your first Dragon Con, am I right in it saying is. that? I was here for a Doctor Who Alone convention. Oh, well, very uh, centric. Last year, Timecom, which was fun. Uh -huh. And I met a lot of the guys who are running this one as well. It, 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 that's the great thing about the conventions here in Atlanta. It's a lot of fan-run shows. Yeah. So you end up see, seeing a lot of the same people working the same events. So you get to that camaraderie. And that's one thing that really comes across in this show. And I'd heard of Dragon Con and thought, hey, I'd like to go. And they said, well, come on up. Now's the time. So here I am. Now, you keep a, good, a busy con schedule. You've been to some of the bigger shows. But with this being Dragon Con, with your experience, is there uh, something like particular that's good, that you have to see since this is your first Dragon Con? What stands out for you? I am told the costumes. Okay. And what I have to look for. Fair enough. Because uh, this is Costume Con. That, that's what yeah. everyone tells me is Costume Con. And this space, which is like the inside of a giant whale, <laughs> it's uh, is ribbed. Gonna, it, yeah, it's yeah. going to be full of strange and wonderful people and strange and wonderful sights. I would hope so. And I'm looking forward to it. Are you yourself going to try, try to join the costume few? Hey, if I wore my costume, it would look positively dull compared to this <laughs> lot. So for once, I'm at home. I, I mean, possibly so. With that though, do you find with your shows, have you ever met yourself essentially? People cosplay as some of the, the yes. parts? The last one I did, there were about four of me wandering around. Oh, that's fantastic. And my costume is really hard to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, some costumes are easy. You know, wander around as a Jedi, simps. Right. But other costumes like mine. We have the colored patches everywhere. Colored patches. And I know one person who actually found the uh, weaver who wove the tartan. Wow. And got him to dig out the pattern and weave a new one. That's how dedicated that, that, that be. And that's one thing I love about that is because, yeah, you'll see a lot of these things that they're so true to the stuff yeah. that you guys presented and they want to make sure it's faithful just out of the spirit and the love for everything that you guys brought together. And when they're in here, they can walk around and people admire them. Yes. If they go outside, people are going, hey. It, it, it's kind of like a, like a <laughs> radius zone. The further out you get, yeah. the more it's like, uh, I don't know, but now like here downtown Atlanta embraces this and it's it becomes like it's the five day party and you get to be a huge part of that. So that should be fun, I hope. Yeah, well, I hope so too. I, 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 let's all yeah. hope, lots, lots, lots of hope here. <coughs> now, now one thing, uh, that, that we've got is you'll be doing a few panels over the weekend. I've got a few panels. I've got a few signings. They're People already, it's already started. Fun should be banned. Fun should not be allowed. No, 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 no fun allowed. This is serious. This business. This is business. Serious. Uh, that's what I'm cons. told. Straight face. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've got a panel most days. Okay. Where I will talk rubbish for an hour. And people will be impressed. They'll, they'll, and they'll applaud. And they'll be like, yes. By the sheer volume of rubbish I know. Or don't know. And if you don't know, you just make it up and they'll believe you regardless. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> <coughs> if I don't know, I say, oh, what episode was that? And 2,000 people say exactly what it was. They'll be on it for you. I think that's what fans love. The fact that they know more than I do mm -hmm. about the job I've done. Do you, do you, do you find that to be a compliment to, to the work that yeah, you guys put out? Of course. Yeah. 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 Because they, they, they've got the passion and they dedicate yeah. and, and just really if I, if they I absorb say, what, it. If I say, what episode was I in? And they, 2,000 people shrugged. I would feel I'd failed. failed. That, I totally, I've never really Whoa. considered that, but it totally makes yeah. sense. Well, all right. Yeah. Thanks for being here, guys. Yeah, but fun. the challenge is always to say something new. Because mm -hmm. over 30 years since I played the part. Right. Uh, I've answered a lot of questions. And the, the thing that really makes me happy is when somebody asks me a question, I have never been asked before. Keeps it fresh, yeah. And, and I try and challenge, but unless you say, it's been a while. what yeah. color shoelaces were you wearing? Uh, that's a new question, but it's a boring one. So now you know, don't ask that question. That's <laughs> off the table. No, we, and, and for today, just there's no shoelaces today. So stick with that one. But I like, I, I like turning it around and asking them questions. Oh, that's fantastic. Get them involved. And yeah, and finding out what people think. That, that should be a lot of fun. So one of your panels, you should just dedicate, all right, I'm going to go sit in the audience. You get up there on the microphone and just one send people one. up there. Yeah, and see what happens. Yeah, the, the staff would is. love it, but the fans <laughs> would really, really, I think, have fun with that. That should be a lot of fun. But the one thing I have to be careful about is that it's, it's a Sylvester McCoy story, but it's <laughs> happened to all of us. Ernest fans coming up and uh. saying, you are my seventh favorite doctor. Oh, no. Which is... I guess they do rate they, them. They yeah. mean it. They mean it well. But it's kind of not what you say to. No, you know. no. It's like you're you're yeah. uh, you're my 14th favorite person in in general. And it's like yes. oh, that's thanks. Yes. 
So you're my second favorite parent. Oh, that that <laughs> is the best. I'm gonna use that. Hey, Dad. By the way, fans. <laughs> oh, well, Colin, I want to thank you so much for making it into Atlanta again, for making it to uh, your first Dragon Con. You're gonna have a busy weekend uh, with your panel, so so find a schedule. Uh, I think you'll probably be over in the Sheraton a lot. I'm imagining that's where a lot of the the Whovian things. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. He oh, just right. learned that. We've oh, it's a learning experience. You mean there's more than one hotel? We have five, so be ready. Does that involve walking? Uh, we'll we'll pretend uh, that it doesn't, and I have a palanquin. Yes. <laughs> People carrying yeah. me. We, we'll, we'll get yeah. the litter out and uh, we'll yeah. get, it'll just be lots of flowing colored coats and it'll be one of the most amazing things we'll and see here. Say, oh, there goes Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully not. But Colin, I want to thank you so much. Have a blast. Dragon Con, have some fun. I'm going to ride that dragon. Do it.